Hello everyone, welcome to VI Consulting Pro. In my last to last video, we discussed about the different Power BI products. What are these? Why do you need them? And much more about them. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to provide you a link in the description section. So please make sure that you watch that video. If you're working on Power BI, that's going to be very helpful for you. And in this video, we are going to demystify Power BI licenses confusion. That means which license should you go for? Which one is going to be better for your organization? And how to choose them? So you would get to know everything in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Demystifying Power BI license is confusion how to solve it or how to explain you in a very simple manner. That's all I was thinking about the last week because in many of my interviews, I have faced this problem. Generally, interviewers are going to ask you how you are going to implement the Power BI licenses or Power BI adoption plan in your organization. And that's very important. Why it's important? Because without knowing about the Power BI licenses, you cannot implement it. And also, you should be very well aware about the different Power BI licenses and their features. So in this video, we are going to discuss everything. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Power BI licenses. Well, guys, basically, there are three different kinds of Power BI licenses, which covers the rest of the licenses as well. In my last video, I discussed five different kinds of Power BI licenses. And here I'm seeing three different kinds of Power BI licenses, while the other two Power BI licenses are covered in these licenses itself. Over here, you should note that Microsoft Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium per user are per user per month licenses. That means Microsoft is going to charge you per month per user basis. However, Microsoft Premium is going to be per capacity per month. That means you are going to be charged based on capacity. So there are different kinds of capacities like P1, P2 and P3. You can check that out on Microsoft website and I'm going to provide you a link in the description section. Over here, you should know that Microsoft Power BI Pro licensing starts from 9.99 USD per month per user. Microsoft Premium licensing is going to be start in two ways. That means premium per user and premium only. So premium per user is again a user based license which is going to be charged monthly and it's going to cost you 20 USD per month. However, Microsoft Premium is a capacity based license. So whether you choose P1, P2 and P3, it's going to be charged based on those capacities. The lowest one is going to be start from 4,995 USD per month. Next, we are going to discuss which one is good for you. Of course, there's a lot of confusion. Like if you have to start implementing Power BI into your organization, you have to think about the licensing. So which license is best for you? Well, I have divided this process into two steps. The very first is going to be features, like you can choose your Power BI license based on the features that you require into your organization. Some organizations require high-end features, like for example, they need a large capacity, the data model size is huge, or maybe they need advanced analytics features. The number second step is going to be based on the number of users. That means it depends how many active Power BI users you have into your organization. So that's also going to affect your budget for Power BI. So this is going to be another criteria to choose the Power BI license for your own organization. So first, let's discuss the features. So based on features, we will see what is the difference between Microsoft Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium per user and Premium. Let's compare the features first. First, we are going to compare the features based on the collaboration and analytics. That means how you can collaborate with your other colleagues into your organization or maybe outside your organization. So based on that, you would realize over here that paginated reports consume content without a per user license and on premise reporting with Power BI report server. These are the three different features that you only get with Power BI Premium. With Power BI Premium per user license, of course, you can generate the paginated or RDL reports, but 
you won't get the facility but you won't get the feature of consuming content without per user license and also on-premise reporting with Power BI report server. So last two features are going to be available only in Microsoft Power BI Premium which is a per capacity based license. The second one comes the data prep modeling and visualization. Over here on your screen now you can see what are the different features in Microsoft Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium per user and Power BI Premium per capacity. They are the two distinct feature that you only get in premium per user and premium capacity. That means XML endpoint connectivity. If you don't know what is it, you can check our other video. I'll provide you a link in the description section. I have already created a video on this. And second one is data flow. For that also, you would find different videos on our YouTube channel. So these two features you will only get in Microsoft Premium per user or Microsoft Premium. Otherwise, all the features you can get with all the three licenses. So you can check whichever is good for you. Last comes the governance and administration. So under governance and administration, there are certain features that you are only going to get with Microsoft Premium, which is again, I'm saying that it's a capacity based license. And over here, like bring your own key, auto scale or maximum storage plus multi geo deployment, that kind of features you are only going to get in Microsoft Power BI Premium. However, application lifecycle management, that means your deployment pipelines, you can get into Microsoft Premium per user as well. Rest are the same in these. Another very big difference between these three licenses is based on the maximum storage. Well, in Microsoft Power BI Pro, you will only get 10 GB of storage per user. However, in case of Power BI Premium per user, you will get 100 TB and this is the same storage is going to be for Microsoft Premium. You should note that the storage underneath all the Microsoft Power BI storages is going to be Azure storage and it's going to be the same analysis engine behind the scene which is going to work for your Azure analysis services. Here you should remember in case of we talked about the maximum model size it's going to be different for different kinds of licenses. For example in Microsoft Power BI Pro you can only have 1 GB size of your data model size. However in premium per user, you can have up to 100 GB of your model size, while in Power BI Premium, you can have up to 400 GB. So guys, these are going to be the different features that you're gonna find while working on different kinds of Microsoft Power BI licenses. And now we are going to discuss the second step where we are going to find how to get to know which license is best for us based on the number of users. So let's try to find that out. Here, let's consider the use case number one. In this scenario, we are going to consider when the total number of active power users are less than 500. So what happens in this case? Well, in this case, if you would calculate the Power BI Pro license cost, that means let's say less than 500 is gonna be 499 of our active Power BI users, and we are going to multiply it by 9.99 USD, which is the cost of Power BI Pro per user per month. And the cost is going to come out as 4,985.01. However, the same cost for PPU is going to come out huge, which is going to be 9,980. And lastly, for premium per capacity one, it's going to be 4,995. So with this example, you can clearly see that the license which is best for us in this kind of scenario is going to be Microsoft Power BI Pro. However, there is a caveat. If you need advanced analytics features such as text analytics, so you are looking something advanced features in Power BI or multi geolocation kind of features, then you have to go with the PPU or premium per user only. Second use case is going to be when our number of active Power BI users are greater than 500. In this case, I have considered 550 for most of the organizations. Generally, we have less than 500 active users, but there are some organizations which are huge. Like for example, an organization which has 2000 active Power BI users. So how to calculate the cost of Power BI licenses over there? Well, in this scenario, your Power BI Pro license cost is going to be 5,494.50. Your Power BI premium per user is going to be huge, 11,000 USD per month. Oh my gosh. 
and in case of Huawei premium per capacity is going to be 4995 only over here you should note that for power bi premium that is which is a per capacity based license you don't need to provide another individual's licenses that means only you need premium per capacity license and one admin in that license capacity can add any number of free users over there in the same domain also you can invite the guests from other companies or your vendors or maybe clients into your azure active directory and then you can assign them the licenses now they are going to be considered as your organization's employee and based on that you can assign them different kinds of licenses so now guys i'm sure you have a very good understanding and we have demystified the power bi licenses confusion you know now which license is going to be good for your organization or what kind of features you are looking into your microsoft power bi reports and dashboards so based on that you can choose which is going to be best for you thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any feedback any question or concern please do let us know you can post your comments in the comment section and also you can visit our website that is www.biconsultingpro.com and there you can connect with us. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.